Okay, Google, <clears throat> let's talk about how you decide what you feed people. And privacy. <clears throat> when I initialized this, this phone, when I switched it on the first time, it's a Samsung AO2. Um, I was offered two, twice I had to accept some terms and there were about six boxes. Two of them were optional. The last two concerned um, advertising stuff and they were marked optional so I accepted all of the others that weren't marked optional and I tried the the button didn't light up to select the other two so I selected the other two then the button lit up and if I deselected the two optional ones the button didn't light up um, so can you tell me what's optional about that because that's not how I interpret optional. And let's try that in a court of law. The other thing is your app and your web interface are clearly two different algorithms for, for, um, for presenting stuff. And on the web interface, I can subscribe to a channel and get notifications, no problem. But on the phone interface, I subscribe to a channel, get notifications, and then I get this status bar bullshit real-time notifications, which pop up on the phone when I'm doing something else uh, and fuck everything up. So obviously I don't want that. So I turn that off. And now on the phone app for YouTube, if I try to get notifications for a channel, it says no notifications and if I, it will only let me subscribe to a channel and get no, and get youtube notifications if i enable android status bar notifications those are not the same thing and we'll try that again in a court of law and i think we're going to be trying a lot of stuff in a court of law so get your fucking acts together <laughs>